Right, this is uh, the video review of the Novus Alpha, which is a GPS speed camera location system. It's uh, a product that you download a database to, but when you buy this unit you get the database preloaded on it. As you can see, it's a, a quirky looking unit. It's only a little unit, uh, on-off switch and power on the back. little colour display there, and on this side we've got the USB port. A very simple display and you can see, you know, portion wise it's not much bigger than a car key. It's an inch and a half on the display, which uh, doesn't sound a lot, but is more than adequate when you see the quality of the display. It comes with a simple remote control, which allows you to control all the features and functions of this unit. And very easily too, I might add, you might notice that there's a sequence of buttons down in the centre there. These allow you to turn the settings on and off. Dead easy, there's a power button. If I press the power button on here, the unit will turn on. Novus Alpha active. Hello. Safe driving mode. What it's done there is it's woken up and it's told you what mode it's in. It has two modes of operation, the safe driving mode or camera mode. And safe driving mode it will give you warnings about sharp bends and you'll notice again on the remote control what we've got is we've got accident black spots, we've got steep hills and sharp bends. And uh, in the camera mode it only gives you the warning about speed cameras. Now, interesting enough, this unit's inside a building. Uh, it has a, a very sensitive built-in GPS engine, and when it gets satellite lock, it will give you the time of the, the unit, so we've got the time here, and you can see how sensitive it is. Being inside a building, technically, GPS shouldn't work. The GPS engine on this, as I mentioned, is very sensitive. GPS time check at 5 o'clock. So it's just given us a time there. It gets a little confused inside a building. You'll notice that what's happening is uh, occasionally it will show a speed. It thinks it's moving and basically what it's doing is it's recorrecting its information on the unit. Now some of the, the functions on this are dead easy. Uh, uniquely this is the only unit so far on the market which allows you to set a vehicle profile. So you can see here we have standard car, towing car, bust and coach, and if we scroll down a bit further, lights good vehicle. So a light good vehicle is uh, any vehicle below seven and a half tons. We have a light goods vehicle towing, and uh, I've gone into a volume control. You can see again, it's all dead easy to work. Let's just go back to the vehicles again and scroll down. It uh, cancels after a short period of time if you don't press a button, and we've got a heavy goods vehicle. Now these profiles are very useful. What happens is when you decide what vehicle you're in select it and press return and now what will happen is when it gives you a speed camera warning it will give you a speed camera warning according to the vehicle speed limit so for instance if you're uh, in a car on an A road you can do 60 miles an hour but a heavy goods vehicle can do 40 miles an hour so what will happen is that unit will warn you according to the vehicle uh, speed limit not the road speed limit which is quite good because you get a lot of heavy goods vehicle drivers saying I want a unit that reminds me according to the speed that I should be doing not the speed that the camera is going to enforce at and a lot of the camera authorities now are using intelligence on the cameras so for instance on the digital cameras they're able to work out through number plate recognition what type of vehicle has gone through the speed camera and what speed that vehicle should be doing so for instance if you're in a car and you're doing 65 miles an hour on a single carriageway you're technically 5 miles an hour over the speed limit but if you're in a heavy goods vehicle uh, on a 60 mile an hour road and you're doing 65 miles an hour you're 25 miles an hour over the speed limit so this unit will tell you that you should be doing 40 miles an hour if you're in a heavy goods vehicle or 60 miles an hour if you're in a, a car for instance and the same when you're towing caravans and buses and coaches have different speeds and lights good vehicles have different speeds so we can set the profile the other functions on this as I say you can very easily change uh, some of the warnings so for instance we're on sharp bend here and we can turn sharp bend on and off I'm going to leave it on for the moment and you can even go as far as turning on fixed cameras and turning fixed cameras on and off brightness is a single press of the button so we can have a, a low middle and high brightness on the unit and again we leave it and it will reset itself we can scroll through various settings such as the date um, the database version so we know when the database uh, needs updating we can compare that we can see the odometer on there so we know how far we've traveled on that particular journey how long we've been traveling for that journey so in this case this unit's been turned on for three minutes and our maximum speed of the unit and then back 
down to latitude and longitude. Now this is a good feature if you've broken down and you need to tell the emergency services or the AA or the RAC where you are. And then um, we also have a mode function which allows, as I say, to change between safe driving mode and camera mode. We'll leave it on safe driving mode. And then conveniently for me, so I can show you some of the warnings, we have a demo mode. And I'll put it into demo now and you can see what happens. Hello, safe driving mode. Novus Alpha active. Warning, speed camera, 500 yards ahead. Limit, 70 miles per hour. Attention, reduce speed now. So what you saw there was the unit giving you a camera warning and if I Hello. go back into that Safe demo, first of all it will power up and uh, you get a little screen to show you that you've got a Novus, Novus Alpha. Alpha You'll get a quick screen that shows it's obtaining satellites and then when it gets warning, a lock it will go. Speed camera, 500 yards ahead. So now limit we get our warning which tells us that uh, we're approaching a speed camera, the speed limit and your speed and how close you are Attention. to the speed camera. Reduce speed now. We're still over the speed limit so it's giving us a quick warning to tell us. And then uh, you get a Warning. confirming Possible tone to say camera zone. that uh, Limit you've gone past. 50 miles per hour. Attention. You can see the Reduce side here. You've got some little blue lights that flash at you to attract your attention. Attention. Reduce speed now. The warnings are dead simple, very clear. The voice Specs is fantastic. Warning. You are in an average speed monitoring zone. Limit 30 miles per hour. Attention. Reduce speed now. You can mute the unit at Attention. any time. Reduce speed now. And you can turn the volume up and down. In demo mode, it's not going to mute. Warning. Possible mobile camera zone. Limit 60 miles per hour. Attention. Reduce speed now. Attention. Reduce speed now. Warning. Traffic light camera ahead. Limit 30 miles per hour. This is something that you don't see on all the uh, GPS detectors out there, traffic light Attention. cameras. Reduce speed now. Warning, accident black spot. Warning, dangerous junction. Warning, steep hill, use low gear. Warning, congestion charging zone. Warning, sharp bend. Warning, safety camera protection zone. So overall the unit's dead simple to use, it's not particularly big, you can see on the side here we have our USB update port and on this side here we have our on off switch and then our power cable. The unit's held on magnetically, you get a, a little dash mount here which you see which has got a, a sticky pad on one side, you peel this off and mount it on the dash and then that uh, magnetically sits onto the, the unit. It's fairly strong and not easy to knock off so that's how you would mount the unit onto your dash. You'll see the speakers on the underside. Now once the speaker's taken away by the magnetic mount, you'll see that the sound travels absolutely no problem. I had this mounted directly on the desk and it had no problem there at all getting the sound out. Very, very clear audio on the unit. You've got uh, here a power light and then you've got your two warning lights either side and then your infrared receiving light or as a whole. Dead easy to use on the remote control, you can see that a simple press of the button will turn the unit off, a simple press of the unit will turn the unit back on, it has a little delay Nervous as it boots back up. Active. Hello. Safe driving mode. And you can see as I lift it off you can hear the volume go up and down. Changing the volume is dead easy, just use the up and down buttons on here to change the volume and you get a symbol on the screen to show you what position the volume's in. And the same scrolling left or right on this unit will give you the various bits of information as the unit's been travelling around very simple vehicle profile just press the vehicle profile and you'll get your vehicle profile up and then it's a case of scrolling up and down and pressing return and the same with all the others there's a reset button at the bottom that allows you if you've uh, changed some settings and you're not sure what you've done or you want to put it back to factory default you can do exactly that so there you go, there's the Novus Alpha, and uh, certainly one of the UK Speed Trap Guide's favourite little products at the moment. Very simple, dead easy to use, a um, little bit quirky, and uh, it looks, certainly looks different. But the screen quality is fantastic, very, very clear, uh, very easy to see in day or night. 
and currently these retail at £150 and certainly I would say this has to be on your shopping list if you want a GPS speed camera warning system.